Hey everyone, it's Gidu, and in this video we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Yuri on Ice North American release. It's really bright. This is what the front looks like. It's still wrapped up. Back cover. It says it comes with the Welcome to the Madness OVA. Well, OVA, it's like three minutes. Um, and an 80 page art book. 80 page art book, that's insane. Release to us from the fine arts, fine arts, from the fine companies of Funimation and Crunchyroll together. I don't, don't ask. Um, I'm really excited though. I just got it in the mail today from Amazon. Um, I believe it was around 82, 87 something, 80 something dollars Canadian. Um, or it might've been cheaper. I don't remember. It might've been like 78, something like that. Cause I got like different emails. I don't know, but either way it'll show up on my credit card and then I will decide not decide. No, I'll know. So this is what the cover looks like. They called it, what, what did they call it? Like a cracked ice look. Um, so it's not matte or anything. It's just like the cardboard wood. Um, but it does have this really cool effect where it just looks like hollow. <laughs> it's so amazing. And then this is the little back plastic thing. This is what I meant to grab. A little envelope, just a plain ass envelope, I believe. Oh wait. Oh, nice. So the back side looks like this with this official art. I'm glad that they chose the front side was going to have these two in their du duet skate outfits. So here are the little print things that it comes with. I forget how many it said it comes with, but we will find out. Um, it'd be nice if it wasn't so closely shrink wrapped because I can't really use the Give me a quick second, because you know you trash at opening things when... I'm worried about like scraping the pictures. <laughs> there. Get a little notch in there and we're good. Get a little notch. So much plastic going to be everywhere. Come on. Doesn't want to open. Oh wow, tiny pieces tear off. You know, and you're just trying to open something for people to see, and when you do it and nothing goes the way you want it to. So this is the first one. I believe this art piece was in a magazine. I'm pretty sure I have this exact magazine. Um, I have them stored away because I don't have space. Well, I mean, they're in a bookshelf, but like. And then this one, oh, I love this piece of art. Oh, hey, look, this one has a back. Here we are, nice, nice. Watercolor stuff. And then here we have the one on their shopping trip. Also from a magazine that I can't remember. This one's a more blue color. And then their lovely little date in Russia at that one skating rink thing that people like went to and took pictures of to compare. This one has a lovely dark, dark blue, almost purple. And that's it. That's it. Just those three. Just those three. I thought there'd be more actually. Interesting. And it just came in a real plain ass blue envelope. Did they run into budget? I'm not sure. Um, so let us open what is inside. Ba -ba -da. Um, oh, by the way, I want to show the detailing in here. Right on the inside lining of the box, I want to show you right here, is actually the lyrics um, for History Maker. So it says, I close my eyes and tell myself that my dreams will come true. And this one says, can you hear my heartbeat? Tired of feeling never enough. Close my eyes and tell myself that my dreams will come true. It's awesome. Like just little details like that. It's really cute. I like that. So we have the nice, fairly thick, um, Blu-ray case on this side is this art piece here of the three of them. And then on the back side here we have this lovely art piece of all of them I love this art piece there was a wall scroll that came out um, in Japan a while ago and I was going to buy it and then I messed up and I missed out and that upset me a lot um I totally just didn't order it fast enough but yeah I wish I did oh my god every fucking time oh it's broken okay I guess I'll just contact them about it oh well why does everything always end up broken when I order, like, Blu-rays 
<laughs> my hair is stuck on it. So a bunch of the plastic inside the Blu-ray case is like broken and I'm having little tiny pieces of blue plastic fall on me. So like there's more tiny blue bits just falling out of here. Um, also this disc was out. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, but the inside has, we're going to continue this unboxing and I'll deal with it afterwards. The inside of this is this art piece right here with them at the onsen. Really cute. I love that art piece a lot. Um, I'll put that back in after. And the discs are as, as so, like so. This is the first Blu-ray. And then this one is the second Blu-ray with them doing the duet skate, which is really nice. And then on this, I believe, is the DVD then. DVD. Got Victor. And then on the second DVD, we've got Yuri. So, yeah. The discs are really nice, like the little detailing they did on all of it. Of course, the Blu-ray thing case had to be broken and fall apart on me. But like, what are you gonna, it's stressing me out. I need to get my best dad cup out. Mmm, a mocha. And this is the beautiful, gonna be little 80 page book. Backside is just plain with Yuri on Ice on it. Front is with the boys, with some very pretty. So it's gonna have a bunch of the art pieces and a bunch of, I believe, interviews and whatnot. Okay, so it's gonna have character profiles, it looks like. And more character profiles, more character profiles. Got Chris, already had Pachit, from JJ. Oh, we got a little shorter ones for the less prominent side characters. Even some more characters. Ba -ba -dum. More characters. I thought it was all going to be art, to be honest, but I don't know why I thought that. Um, but this is nice because we've actually got some interviews. So there's an interview with um, Kenji Miyamoto, which is the figure skating choreographer for the anime. Um, that's really cool, and there's lots about the different outfits and stuff, like interviews about it. Um, Interview with Mitsuro Kubo. That's actually cool. I'm gonna have to read all these. And then there is an interview with Sayo Yamamoto. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> We've got some... Whatever they call these. I don't know. Stills or something. Stills? I think they're stills. I don't know the like proper term for it. But yes, we have quite a few here. There's some really cute ones. Ooh, got an angry Yuri going on. Um, I'm not sure if I have most of these, like I believe I have most of these in the um, other Yuri on Ice art books and whatnot, because I have quite a few of those where lots of these stills are in it. Sorry if I'm not talking. I feel like I should talk more, but... Oh, look at Victor's reaction to Yuri. Fuck, it's so cute. Look at them. Also, Yuri's booty is out, if you see that, because I see that. His booty's just out. Somebody help him. We've got this lovely piece right there. Are we getting into the colored stuff then? Yeah, so we got a bunch of these art pieces. And then we have the more, like, sketched out value version. I don't know what they call that. Oh wow, we even got this one. Of course, it's a little too bad that the picture goes into the book so you can't see it unless you like spread the book open. Um, but that's really nice because I didn't have that art piece. Same thing with this piece. I don't have anything with this piece on it because I didn't buy that magazine um, and then it sold out. There is a little thing about a poodle and blades and Hasetsu City. Sorry, not the castle, the city. The Russian punk, so it has all these little tidbits on the music, the choreography, the ice rank, social media, greed, um, Chinese food, Grand Prix series, 
just a bunch of little writings with little screenshots from the from the show. A little thing about friendship. I'll have to read through all of this later. Um, oh, it even has a little a little blurb about the exhibition skate right here. Oh, and then in the back we've got the Yuri on stage work right there. That's nice. And then this is what the inside cover looks like on both sides, just different colors slightly. But yeah, so that is the little 80 page booklet and mostly what's in them. Of course, I'm not going to go through the interviews because that's just a long time and you could probably find them online somewhere at this point or eventually you probably will be able to. I don't know. But yeah, so that is pretty much everything in this unboxing nothing too crazy but I think it came with quite a bit I wish it would have came with a do you guys remember the free season two uh like premium edition or whatever it was called and it came in like this box with like a towel and with like a shit ton of art cards and with like an art book and like all these other little things um and then they like released season one of free and it just had an edition like this where it had like the actually no it didn't have anything extra it just had the clipboard box and then the DVD, or the DVD and Blu-ray in it. Um, I don't think it had, maybe it had something else in it, I don't know. I have a video of it if you guys want to go check it out. But for this one, at least it came with prints and a book. Like, this is what, like, I mainly wanted it for. Um, these are really cute, too, uh, despite the fact that I do already have, like, posters of these. But I like these a lot because they're, like, smaller, and I'm probably not going to put them up anywhere. They're probably going to stay in this, but you know. Um... But yeah, so that's pretty much all for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will link in the description below all my social media so you guys can check that out. Check me out there. Um, I'm mostly active on Twitter as a warning. So if you want more active stuff, Twitter's your go-to. Um, and I will also link uh, my affiliate links down below through CD Japan and Tokyo Taka Mode. I receive a small commission from any purchases made through those links. I really appreciate everyone who do who's done it before and those of you who will do it in the future. Thank you so much. Um, and I think that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.